Everybody, welcome back to DIY Chop American Model Madness, where we're going to get crazy and we're going to start chopping some models. Now, today's episode in this uh, video, we're going to be working on a challenge that was actually uh, emailed to us uh, from a, a great friend uh, about a monster truck tur uh, chopping a monster truck and making a, a rock climber out of it uh, or a custom truck. So, basically, what I did was is I went out and I purchased a uh, snap together a uh, grave digger which uh, I mean it's, it's just a real simple model simple construction and I did some pre-assembling work and I'll just kind of kind of let you see it here uh, the only thing I didn't put in was the seat and the steering wheel and the head in the headers because the headers actually have little clips on them and I'd like to keep the clips because I, I need those to put the motor uh, together and I don't want to break the clips off but uh, as you notice, you know, the engine's in the back, in the rear. Uh, we got the radiator in the front with the fuel tank in the front. Uh, all the suspension, everything is actually put together. And, uh, but we're going to disassemble this to uh, do the custom work. So, and basically, what, this is what we're going to do today. Uh, and we're even going to go to the extremes where we're actually going to do some chopping on the body. And we're going to make a custom truck out of this. This is going to be a cool project. So, but getting started, uh, let me move the box over here out of the way. And we're going to do a little bit of a detailed. Uh, and I also got a tripod here. My a dear brother of mine actually blessed me to use his tripod, so we can actually get kind of real close and personal with this. Now, the first thing we got to do is we got to take this apart. Now, I have pre-glued a lot of this chassis. Uh, together uh, I don't know if you guys can see it I have uh, some glue tabs here that I actually glued together I glued the front here or, or the back right here uh, this front plate and glued the actual top of the roll cage together so that way uh, when we take it apart and we do the chopping we actually got a little bit of stability so and I got the motor actually in here kind of free so we're going to take the motor out and we're actually going to move this motor and we're going to put it in the front. This is going to be cool. So basically what you do is you take that. And we're going to take the radiator out. I got it free and just kind of free sitting in there. Take the gas tank out. And, and keep all your parts uh, in an area where, you know, they're readily available. So, and then I'm going to take the tires off of it. You know. Again, I just got this uh, just just generally put together so that way you know it's very easy to take uh, take apart. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a monkey. Uh, I can put it on there that tight. There we go. And then, whoop! Get her, don't let your tires roll away. Rolling, rolling, rolling. You know, up there's my dog barking at parking crickets again. You know, and be very careful with the. Uh, these actually right here. Uh, these I actually got in the, on the top, so that way they're uh, not in. But you want, you want to take your fingernail up underneath it and just kind of just very, very gently just give it a little bit of pressure. But you don't want to bust that little tab off because that little tab actually plugs right into the hole right there. And you'll have problematics putting it back together. Okay, and then we're going to, you know, just kind of take the, take the shocks off, if I can get them off. Hopefully I can get them off without breaking anything. Okay, maybe not. So we'll get the get my handy dandy hemostats out here and hopefully we can do a little pop. Hopefully. Maybe not. So we'll have to get our hook the hook out. Yeah, so sometimes they come apart fairly easy, but sometimes they don't. And that's okay. Hopefully we won't break anything because if we break it, then we gotta fix it. Pull the sock out. Again, you know, stick all your your parts in a in a place where you know where they're at and they're not gonna get lost. That is important. Because if you lose your socks, or, then it won't see you, you can't get the suspension to sit right. Always pull things straight out if you can. Don't try to curve anything. And then 
you, know, you want to take this this out here and this is basically generally put together with the uh, with the instruction book so you know down here you'll see the uh, for the tabs actually go in right here okay basically I'm gonna go over there and just kind of give it just a little a little tug twist and then pull this whole assembly out right here like this and that's just basically it on that now I did make one small modification here which I'm gonna let you all know uh, the motor was actually connected to this piece right here okay and basically what I did was is I, I cut that with the with an exacto blade knife so that way we can separate the engine and I cut the very top of the uh, the tab off of it so that way we can uh, position it in there uh, for the front and I took this and I spun it around so but that's basically the assembly on uh, the disassembly on that part and now we're going to work on the, the, the chassis oh actually we've got one more piece we got to pull out now this is just generally just in here I just got sitting in here don't want to bust no tabs because there's a little there's a, there's two little tabs right here see them right there and we need those to actually go in these holes so that way it secures the firewall in and we're gonna do something with this later on uh, I don't know if we're gonna get everything in on this video but we're gonna try uh, might might make this a multi video but uh, and that's just basically the chassis now the first thing that I've been thinking of and you guys can see it it's actually in the black here uh, we're going to cut those out uh, those are basically uh, where the screws actually holds it together but we need to cut this out in order to put the pedals in and then we're going to have to cut this out because I'm going to put a little bit of a bed bedside in there maybe put a, a an extra gas tank in there or something I don't know what I'm going to do with that quite yet but and that's basically that for that. Now, uh, hopefully, we can get our heated dandy saw out here. And I do got uh, a couple of tools of stray right now, but I think we can still do this. Okay. Get our handy dandy saw out. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut this out right here. And I usually just use this a regular hacksaw. That's the best thing to use. If you can get a an actual uh, saw, that's always cool to have. Which I got one, I just don't know where it's at. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this out. And just, which what I'll do is I'll cut a little bit extra out. And just... This might take a little while. Kind of hard for you to do this while you guys are watching on the camera. But just kind of go like that. Yeah. This is, and you got, and we're doing this live. This is a. This is going to be, basically, you're going to see everything happening. I'm trying to get it started here. There we go. And just cut that out. This might take a little longer than what we planned. And very, very carefully. trying not to break any of the roll cage parts with you because this thing here is sitting on the table it has a tendency to put pressure on the chassis and twist the chassis so and I think I just went right into the screw which I did but I'll tell you what we're going to get back to that 
And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and cut that off off video uh, real quick. But uh, we're going to go ahead and just, just move on to the back. Uh, now this right here, we're going to cut this off too. And basically what I do is I take you know a pair of snips like this, and I go right up to the roll cage like so, and just snip. And then over here, now you want to be careful not to snip into this bar right here. Okay? You don't want to snip that bar. You want to snip this thing as plus as you can. Like so. And just snip. And then we'll go on the other side. I'll tell you, Josh, you're going, this is going to be amazing for you. Just like that. You know, snip. And then like this, right here. And just snip. And you want to save this. You don't want to throw these away. Do not throw away your parts. Because you can use this, you know, as a roll cage in a race car or... Or we can remount it on this somewhere if you want to change your idea. These things are like very valuable. They're like gold to a model builder. Parts are like gold to a model builder. Okay. And that's basically that and that on that. And my I got a razor blade that is missing. So we're gonna go ahead and go to our scraping tool. And and these little nubs right here, you just want to take off these little nubs. Because it leaves a little bit of a nub. You know. And I hope you guys can see this. Uh, I am looking online right now for a snake. For the, uh, a phone snake. It's called a phone snake. And these things are cool. So that way we can get really, really uh, close and personal. And just take off the nub. That's all you want to do is just take off the nub. And what we're going to do, there goes my dog barking at barking crickets again. Hope she ain't too loud for you folks. Okay, and that's basically it on that part. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and just kind of pause this real quick. And I'm going to cut the rest of these, uh, reposition and cut these right out. And I'll be right back with you folks. So... I don't want you guys to go anywhere because I'm telling you, we're going to get crazy on this. You guys are going to love this. So don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Hello, everybody. We're back. I'll tell you, we got this thing all cleaned up. And uh, this is basically what I did. And basically cut those pieces right out. Which is right here is the pieces. Yes, sir. We cut these out and we got it all cleaned up. Got it all smoothed out. Really, really nicely in there. Right there. Right there. And later on, what we'll do is we'll actually do a panel. And we're going to do a fixed panel for that. Which we're going to do that in a probably... Like, well, actually, we can do it right now. We won't do it later. We'll do it right now. So basically, you take the handy dandy styrene. This is basically a deli tray you can or produce tray. We'll just do this real quick here. Basically you just cut yourself a piece out. Like so. This is another way you can hide your mis your hide your mistakes too. So okay and then we're gonna get ourselves a handy dandy marker make sure it's got a good tip on it that's that one does it you may have to use it anyway up there it is organized work area highly recommend it okay basically what you're going to do is, is you're going to just stick it on there like so and just i don't know if you guys can see this Tell you what, I'll we'll going to just draw it out here real quick. And just. You want to be on the inside 
of the piping. That's where you want to be at. You want to be inside the piping and go along the curvature of the model. And we always dry fit everything before we glue it, right? I'm pretty sure somebody out there is going, yep. The nice thing about this about doing this is you don't have to cut a lot, bunch of thick styrene now I know back in the day I used to cut these out with a razor blade or a Dremel tool and then I would actually cut a CD case like this you know and I cut out the, the same thing right out of the CD case. I draw it out like that right there. And then I would cut it out with a Dremel tool or a hacksaw blade and it would be waste the CD case. I found this to be an easier way. And then what you, anyway, you gotta get my scissors. Where's my scissors? Scissors, there they are. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut it out. Just like this. Now you always want to cut past the corner and you want to hold the part because I've had these styrene pieces just fly across the room. And you always you always dry fit everything. Now these piece, this piece is going to actually fit. In here. That's actually cut too small. How did, I, how did I do that? Okay. What we'll do is it's just here too small. But that's okay. That's always that's the reason why we always dry fit everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our marker and we're going to draw just a little bit wider line on it. Just a hair. And that's basically what we got to do. We got to do a hair. Okay, put that right. You want to copy this thing very straight, paying attention to your edges and your corners, because sometimes when you cut your second part, it looks kind of odd. Okay, so then we want to cut just a hair bigger. And I'm going to cut on the outside of the marked edges this time. I think my mistake was I cut on the inside and I think I cut off that hair. So you want to just right on the outside so that way you still see the black. And we're going to take this piece and throw it in our little bin there. And then you want to just dry fit it see how it fits probably going to be maybe a hair too big but that's okay hair is too big it is a hair too big just as I mean just a baby's hair too big but that's okay oh wait a minute we're going to double check it here I got it all wrong okay there we go they're too big. Okay, so we're going to trim it down just a little bit. And I know right there's why it's they're too big. Uh, too big on that side. Just kind of snip it right off. If I can get it. Yep, there we go. Okay, dry fit it. Always dry fit your parts. Do not assume. Okay, I cut that crooked, but that's okay. We can actually straighten that out. Just the hair right dead smack to the middle of the part. Boom. Okay. You want to just trim it down. And this might take several times to do, but actually we're going to get you guys 
down here so that way you guys can see what's going on. My bad. There we go. And I thought I moved the camera. But I didn't. You just want to kind of put it right there. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's just a smidgen. There it goes. And that's basically what you want right there. You want that to be very, very tight. You can give it a little bit of a wiggle. Very, very little. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, just do the other four in the back. We're going to do, I'm, I'm going to do a half an hour video. So, uh, I'm telling you, we're going to do all four of them. And then we're going to uh, close, put the ending on there, glue these in. We'll let it dry. And then our next video is we're going to paint it. So, and what the color we're going to paint it is going to be steel, just like this. It's going to be some nice. It's going to be it's going to be pretty, babe. It's going to be pretty, 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 pretty. So, be right back. We're going to just stay with us. We're going to cut the rest of these. Show you how to glue them in, and then we're going to do a closing video. But this is going to look good. So, stay tuned.